and here it comes my project my next project yeah and the stinger morning Adrian backing it right into here so if you pull it that way and then kind of tuck it this way and then we'll just drag it off right into that yep we're not gonna go all the way up we're just gonna put it right here and action Cut. So after one day of moving parts off, this is what I got. Looks like the core support, uh, radiator support, front hub, some control arms, there's the strut, the mirrors, of course the wheel, uh, just some other crap that was in the car, bumper. Um, under carriage or whatever, well, body pan kind of thing, whatever. But yeah, so that's all of it. I'll give you guys a look at the car. Let me take the. Okay, I got the cover off for you, so you can see. I took the headlight out, took the, all the front off. That was all bad. What's funny is the air conditioning. I did get it started today. I ran it for about thirty seconds. And I checked the air conditioning condenser still, or the air conditioning system still sealed. There's still pressure in the air conditioning system. Transmission cooler. Um, I think I didn't put it in gear, so I don't know if the I don't think the transmission uh, lost any fluid, so I don't think that leaked either. Otherwise, we'd see a bunch of fluid all over. So I don't think I think the transmission fluid is uh, good. I'm gonna of course replace the uh, the transmission cooler. I'll, I'll probably replace the condenser too, just because it's bent. And then, of course, the radiator is, I think the radiator leaked. I didn't see any antifreeze in there, so I don't think there's any antifreeze. So I'm pretty sure that system's been compromised. I'm going to have to replace the radiator. But um, I did start it up today, which was cool. It does need a serious cleaning. It does have oil in it and everything. It seemed to run okay, even though, so the intercooler, of course, the intercooler um, got torn off, as well as the whole um, bottom uh, support bracket. So... I got that stuff ordered, but yeah, without the intercooler, it's going to run a little rough, but it ran okay. It doesn't look like there's that much, I don't know about frame damage. Um, it, you know, I think this thing got bent in a little bit on this side in, but I don't know. I have to, uh, I'm going to buy the bumper and see, of course, most of the damage. See, I think the damage might be here and over, but I mean, down, down here, definitely, you know, it didn't have, I don't know if the, they took the wheel liner out. The, um, the, there was no wheel liner on the other side. But, um, yeah, so I need to get, I've got all this, these parts are all on order right here for in here. So that's okay. Of course, I took the mirrors off because those were both thrashed. I found out, I, was, I didn't know that the windshield was busted, but the windshield's busted right there. And the rear view mirror is broke so i took that took that off too so i did i cleaned it out a little bit i got oh, some tools i gotta put away i vacuumed it you know i'm gonna take the seats out and do a full detail on it i took the airbag the wheel, steering wheel airbag i took that out those were pretty easy to remove i haven't done the knee one i cut it off but i have to replace that of course the steer yeah the seat belts they popped so i gotta reset that hole uh, SRS system, but um, I put a battery in it and uh, yeah, I was able to turn it on Like I said, I got it running um, There was a couple things That were disturbing as far as when I put the yesterday when I Put the jumper I put a jump box on it. I was able to open the rear deck lid with the key fob but um, when I put the new battery in, it wouldn't work. So I don't know why that, what's up with that. But uh, yeah, I got to get on all these stickers too. I got to take all these stickers off. There's, sorry, sorry, L L J the Barber 209. But all the stickers got to come off. And I had this. I don't know what the heck that is right there. I'm gonna have to fix that. But yeah, I had to get all these stickers off. That only has. Uh, 20 miles of gas left in it so, at least that's what the, the 
the gas gauge said when I started it up, when I turned it on. But um, yeah, I didn't open the, I didn't try. Oh yes, I did try to open the, the uh, sunroof and the buttons didn't work. But I don't know if I did it when the motor was on. I think you have to do that with the motor on or with it in, not in accessory, but in, uh, in on mode. So yeah. And the door, I didn't know the door was thrashed right there, but you know, I guess that fender being tweaked back did it. But yeah, so pulled off all kinds of parts. Um, gonna be able to reuse some of them, but definitely needs a cleaning. And uh, I'm gonna have to pull this side out over here. So this side's good though. Yeah, this side's all over here is all good. Everything's fits. I do have a dent right here. I don't know where that came from. I'm gonna have to fix that. I think there was, oh yeah, there was a big gouge in the door. Yeah, right here. I'm gonna fix that too. I'm not much of a body guy, but I guess I'm gonna learn how. I'm gonna have to, to do it, so. Uh. But yeah, I'm excited. It's looking good. One day in and I've got 90% of what I need to pull off pulled off. Um, I just need to pull the rest of this front end off, but I'm not going to do any of this until I get my core support and, um, and all that part. When I get, start getting that stuff, then I'll start pulling the front end off. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. See how, if I get a wild hair up my ass, I might do it. I might just go ahead and pull it off so I can expose the whole front of the motor and that'll be all part of the cleaning process. I got to get in there and clean it. And I think I'm going to get, so I have to get a new intercooler anyway. So I'm probably going to go with a performance one. I mean, why not? I'm going to spend three or 400 bucks on an intercooler. I may as well step up and get a good one. And in order, when you go to do that, it's way easier to have all the your radiators and everything out of the way so you can get get in here and, and do all the uh, installation. So, you know, you got to pull these things off and pull this centerpiece off. That's all part of the intercooler. So, but yeah, so I'm pretty excited. It's got to keep, uh, you know, Forging ahead, I'm gonna be able to reuse the the hood liner. Just gotta pop my little pins out here and take this thing off. I can reuse that. I'm, not, I'm gonna reuse the struts too. Struts are good. Uh, I will replace the hinges. I think they say whenever you get in a front end accident, you should replace the hinges. Let's see what kind of. Yeah, see the gap isn't that good. It's good down here, but it's way too tight over there. So. I'll replace the the hood hinges but the struts work good so yeah there you go and that's it that's my 2018 Kia Stinger GT2 it's got a lot of electronics I'm gonna have to figure out down here I don't know what the hell oh I think these go to the this is where the um, the bottle goes for the windshield washer fluid and I think these are probably for the sensor when it gets low on fluid but uh, when that wheel jacked into here, it like grinded all these things up. So I gotta figure out all of the wiring on this side. I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. It's not gonna be that tough, you know. Uh, then I'll give this a good cleaning, put the liner on there, put the fender on there, get it all, stuff all pulled out, figure it out how I do all that, I don't know. But um, here we go, it started. And it's good. I like it. Need at least one wheel. I don't know about this wheel. I don't know. I haven't really started on the back end. I haven't started really looking back here. Uh, you know, so I'll get around to it. Yeah. All right. More videos to come. Peace. All right. Let's give an update. So as you can see, it is now on four wheels I got the uh, uh, the suspension oh, too bright got the pulleys down there got a new strut coming all the way in uh, it turns and actually I measured the distance between the front tire and the back tire on this side from back there to here and I did it on the other side and it's exactly the same. So this didn't get pushed back, but I did a center measurement where I got my laser out, split the motor in half, and then I measured from one rail in to the line and 
from this side into the line and of course this side it looks like it has been pushed in about I don't not much maybe three quarters of an inch or so so it's not that bad down here I don't know about up here I didn't really check anywhere else as soon as I saw that the frame needed to get straightened out I was like okay move on so clean the engine disassembled put took you know the air the actually the, um, the air can or the air box for this side was fine it didn't break the it broke the um, uh, the little inlet right here broke but the box itself is fine box over here is good everything else is good the, um, the um, I guess the charge tube or whatever this this thing got it got smashed I'm gonna have to straighten that or replace it um, what else what do I have I have the radiator on order I was able to find a condenser for it and the um, automatic transmission uh, cooler I got all those on order I have the core support I should have gotten the core support this weekend but you know when you order from dealers they're they slack so they said it would be in on Saturday I called them they said no this week sometime so today or tomorrow I don't know I'll probably call them in a little bit and find out where it is but um, what else what else what else oh, I bought a bump I got a bumper coming I don't have the hood or the fender ordered yet because I have to take it in and uh, the frame guys are gonna straighten this for me and get this get this dialed in but uh, they said actually the frame guy I talked to him today Eric and he said that he wants the hood and the fender uh, and the bumper so he can make sure when he starts pulling it that they make everything fit good and that all the lines and everything are good so anyway that's the plan but uh, yeah so I messed around with some of the stuff inside toyed around with it um, I ordered a rearview mirror uh, that's uh, I guess that's about it but uh, yeah, that's the update nice and clean might run it again after I, every time I spray water on a motor, I always worry that it won't start. So I want to start it again and make sure I get all the, shake all the cobwebs loose. But uh, yeah, so that's all. Peace.